Welcome to the Vista Acres Homestead Channel. We'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications button, and if you can, give us a like button. And again, thank you for watching. Okay, we've got, uh, as you can see here, we've got these four, and I think there's boats going off for these. Let me check this out in order here. It says use this, uh, I read the instructions right, it says use the uh, S420. Assemble the fixed glass door, put the left and right side fixed door into up an aluminum rack, track. Is that what that? Hold that and I'll get it. Right here. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. You fall the way through there? No, I think it just fell off. Thanks. I don't know. Whoa. Pop the wheelie. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. And then the door hangs, the wheels hang on this thing. Is this the door or is this just the wall? This is the wall. Y'all, this was by far the, the hardest part of putting this uh, tub shower together was assembling the glass, which one thing that caused a little bit of problems was during all the moving of the tub, one of the glass panels had came loose uh, from the metal. So it made it a little bit more difficult, but you know, this was probably the hardest thing of putting this tub together was these uh, glass panels, figuring out where the track went, and I still hope we got it right because I hadn't put the glass doors on yet. So hopefully we got that fixed the way it's supposed to be. Okay, y'all, you can see Maggie's trying to give me a hand to get these panels lined up. But as you looked at, the one I was just working on was the top panel. There was two of these uh, uh, slides that attached the panels together, and then the glass doors will ride inside of those uh, slides. So basically what I'm doing here is, is I'm trying to get the bottom one put into place, along with the help of Maggie. And, uh, then I'll lift it up and put it on the tub. I thought about just flipping it up so I could stand up and do it, but that would be another uh, time I would have to flip it back over when I got that piece on. And these glass panels, when you attach two of them to those two bars, that top one and that lower one, it gets pretty heavy. It was it was a pretty good lifting contest for me to get that thing up on the tub. Because like I've told you before, Angie can't help a whole lot with her hands. Um, they just let go. She, if she lifts something like that, uh, they'll just they'll let go on her. So she can't help a whole lot. But I was I was able to get it up there, and uh, with without a lot of trouble. I didn't video that because it, it didn't know how it would go. But anyway, we got it up there.
Okay, y'all, this was kind of the easier part of this thing, was putting in these last uh, bolts on the end. There was one on the top and then one on the bottom, so there was only four of those. Uh, that was fairly easy compared to the other 20, uh, five on each part that I had to put in. Those, as a matter of fact, I had to take that slide out of that bottom rail, I had it upside down. And that was one good thing about putting this uh, uh, enclosure together was it wouldn't go together incorrectly. The uh, screw holes wouldn't line up, so you knew you had it backwards. And you've got uh, two screws for the end, which are the 420 by sixes. And uh, you got one down at the bottom. And then you've got this one up there at the top, and that's at both ends. Then on the side panels, what I was doing was putting these four screws in. <laughs> Uh, the four outer ones are, uh, I'll put that on there, I don't think I, but this thing, the center one's a little bit different, but you've got that at the top, and you also, again, got that at the bottom. Okay, what I've done is I've got the glass enclosure lifted up on the tub, put it on the tub, and I'm taking the screws and I'm uh, bolting it in and putting it in there at this point. And I think there was three or four of those on each side, and those was also uh, screws. Uh, forget the length of them, but that, that's what went on the ends. Yeah. I bet that up there at that building's probably, I bet that building's rotted down. We need to take the, take everybody on YouTube up to our... Get away. Yeah, probably up there. It's tight quarters, y'all. Very tight quarters. Yeah, the shower's about the size of the room. I hope that ain't going there. The shower is half the room, sure enough. Remove the fan. Okay, y'all, at this point, as you can see, it is put together, all but putting the shower doors on. I didn't want to put the shower doors on until I get it pushed back uh, against the wall because those things are, they're heavy. So I want to eliminate the weight so I can push it back against the wall. But it, as you can see, it turned out really good. Uh, I fastened that top cap down uh, on the shower unit and it used bolts on the back side and then it used screws on the top side. So it turned out really good. The next thing we're gonna have to do is hook the water up to it and then we're also gonna have to uh, hook the electrical up to it and uh, hopefully be able to turn it on. So that'll probably be the next video. And again, appreciate y'all watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be doing a lot of these type projects uh, from remodeling the kitchen uh, to adding a room onto this house to clearing off property putting fences up so there's a lot more to come we're really excited about getting started on a uh, lot lot of projects so again we appreciate y'all subscribing and uh, if you can hit that like button and again thank you for watching <laughs>